Hello, my name is Deirdre Buckley, a consultant dermatologist in Bath and a senior author on this multi-centre prospective audit from participating members of the British Society of Cutaneous Allergy. Methacrylates, commonly present in nail cosmetics, are potent sensitizers, and as an increasing number of consumers are becoming sensitised, we were concerned that our existing baseline patch test series did not contain any screening methacrylate. We already knew from our previous work that 2-hydroxyethyl methacrylate, or 2-HEMA, is the most common sensitising methacrylate in the UK. We therefore carried out a prospective audit in 15 participating UK and Irish patch test centres, testing 5,920 consecutive patients to 2-hydroxyethyl methacrylate included in our baseline patch test series. 663 of these patients were also tested to a short series of eight methacrylates based on their history. There were 36 patients not suspected to have methacrylate allergy who had the short series added at day two because they came up positive to 2-HEMA. And it's these 36 patients, or 0.6% of all patients, who would have had their relevant allergen missed had we not screened with 2-HEMA in the baseline series. There were 102 patients positive to 2-HEMA, or 1.7% of all patients, and 140 positive to any methacrylate, or 2.4% of all patients. Most patients, on average, were allergic to three or four methacrylates. Ethyl cyanoacrylate, or superglue, was the most common allergen to test positive in those negative to 2-HEMA. The vast majority of patients were female, 94%, and the most commonly affected sites were the hands and the face. There were some patients, some units, who tested to other allergens, such as diethylene glycol diacrylate or DEGDA, which picked up cases that we wouldn't have identified if we'd just tested to HEMA on our short series of eight. Most patients, uh, the vast majority in fact, or two thirds, were sensitised from attending nail bars and most of the remaining third actually worked in nail bars, but there was a small handful who were sensitised from printing ink or sensitised by surgical glue or medical devices. We've conclusively shown that by adding 2-HEMA to our baseline patch test series, we pick up this 0.6% of all patients who'd have had their relevant allergen missed if we had not done so. We've also identified a, short, a series, a shortened series, of 15 methacrylates which we recommend for patch testing. We think this series is long enough to include most relevant allergens, but short enough that we don't cause unnecessary morbidity by multiple strongly positive patch test reactions in patients with methacrylate allergy. And we include a new allergen, isobornyl acrylate, present in glucose monitors such as Freestyle Libre, which will become available commercially for patch testing this year.